Today we're looking at a couple production companies. See what they're like. They're new, and I want to see how they work. Let's get after it. We got two new productions. Right here, we have the silo for silage. So, you can put grass, you can put hay, you can put chaff in here. And it'll turn it to silage, which is fantastic. Over here, we got a sugar beet crusher, which is fantastic because we've needed it. The only thing we've had is a front loader tool that will cut sugar beets. This will cut sugar beets on a massive scale and it holds a lot. So <laughs> let's look at them here. I'm going to start with the, uh, the silo over here. Now, good part about this, let's go into this menu. It'll take grass, hay, and chaff. So if you don't want to, you know, go ahead and cut the grass, then, you know, get all that done and put it into a bunker silo, you can just bring it here. And I'm actually going to turn this guy on. I got a little bit in there. I got a little, about 12,000 liters. And I'm going to let it run. It's already at seven liters for storage. Seven liters. I just turned it on. I have it on times one speed. It's already going up. So if you're making total mix rations where you don't need a crazy amount right away, you could put grass in here, let it tick over for a while. When you need to feed your cows, you just come over and take it right out. And it adds, adds a little extra storage. So instead of putting it into a multi-fruit silo, you can just keep it in here. No problems at all. Plus, you could have two running or three. So it can drastically get faster and faster in production. Um, so you get a thousand liters per thousand liters. So if you put a thousand liters of grass in, you'll get a thousand liters of silage in. Perfect. Same with hay, same with chaff. So you can do everything. And you shouldn't have really any problem. It's an automated bunker silo. Because now I can just pull up. I just put the product in there. It's been running for a couple seconds here. If I want, I can just take out 161 liters of silage if I wanted to. Or I can pull out the hay that I have or the grass that I have. So, I mean, that's, that's fantastic. Love that. Honestly, makes life a lot easier, especially if you have, especially cows. You're going to need that silage. You're going to need it. And if you just want it for selling, go for it. Fill it all the way up, empty it into a trailer and go sell it and let it just keep producing. That's going to be a constant rotation of silage. Cut your grass, throw it in there every now and then, empty it, get paid. You know, when you have a good price, great. That's fantastic. Love that. Let's look at it at the store. We go down to productions, factories, come down here, fermenting silo. It is 30,000, not too bad. It's not too massive. It'll take up a little space, but it's not too massive. And it, the land was already kind of not flat. So, you know, bear with that, but not too bad, honestly. I like it, very simple, but helpful. Now this guy over here, this is the sugar beet crusher, or it's a, the beet pulp productions what they call it all right so we come over here sugar beet cut you throw sugar beets in here i'm going to turn that on it'll cut 4000 sugar beets into 4000 or 4000 sugar beets into 4000 cut sugar beets and it works pretty quick it's already up to 166 so it's going to go pretty quick it has 360 yeah 360 rotations a month so it's just going to keep cutting and cutting. Uh, it does cost more than most. 240 What was this one? $2. So I'm actually going to shut this one off. So $240 per month. But it goes so fast, I don't think you're going to have an issue. We're already almost down 1,000 sugar beet alone. And we've only gone about, what, two minutes? So not too bad. Now, if you actually look in here... If I go back into here, uh, there's 11,000 liters in there, and that bar is barely moved. 
So you could probably put 100,000 liters, if not 200, 300. Uh, you're going to be able to fit whatever you take off a field in here. Uh, maybe if you get over a million liters, maybe not. But you're going to be able to fit a lot. So if you're doing uh, biogas plant stuff, you need cut sugar beets to sell to the biogas plant. So you're going to make a profit there just by selling it through here. This is only 10 grand to buy. So it's nothing crazy. Come in the back and take it out. You unload from here. And you can even tip in if you really want to with a uh, bucket or something. But if you're doing the sugar mill, which if you've seen the sugar mill video, I'll leave a, a tag on the top if you haven't seen it. Sh cut sugar beet makes you the most amount of money at the sugar mill. Because you have to do an extra task to cut the sugar beet, I think they just give you more money. If you're doing that in this, it's going to make life a hundred times easier. You run it through here, you bring it to your sugar plant or sugar mill, you make sugar out of it, you're going to get more for that, and you can easily sell it and make more money. So this will pay for itself, no matter which way you're doing it, biogas or sugar mill, it's going to pay for itself. So honestly, it's fantastic. I, I, I love these two. I love the things people are doing modding. Um, just getting us different things. I know on PC they probably had something similar to this. I know they've had the bunker silo uh, for a long time. But for console, this is great. Honestly. Something that'll automatically silage your uh, crops or your uh, grass is fantastic. Look, we just got what almost 3,000 liters of cut sugar beet that we can go and put in the uh, sugar mill right now or go sell it I mean you can't go wrong with it they're fantastic 30 grand 10 grand I couldn't see a reason not to have these on a farm even if it's a distant farm maybe you made a secondary farm put some businesses on it these things are gonna make your life so much easier if you're planning on doing sugar beet this is fantastic if not don't if you're planning on doing cows or just selling silage in general this is fantastic i think this is a must honestly this is probably going to be on every one of my farms unless a maybe a smaller one comes out that will just be a little little smaller so i can fit it on different areas but this thing it works great can't can't complain here so just a little rundown quick video I just wanted to show you guys these things so you understand how they work, how they get around and do things. But if you did like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.